The 1919 World Series was one of the most scandalous events in sports history, but what really happened? So in 1919, the Chicago White Sox and Cincinnati Reds met in a nine-game World Series. At the time, players were paid a few thousand dollars per season and struggled to make a living. Because of this, a gambler named Joseph Sullivan offered to pay $100,000 to White Sox players in order for them to purposely lose the series, and a few players joined in. Originally, the White Sox were heavy favorites to win the series, but after those who knew about the conspiracy began betting on the Reds, the odds evened out. After losing four of the first five games, the White Sox players wanted to pull out of the fix because the gamblers were not paying them the $20,000 after each loss that they had promised. Because of this, the White Sox won the next two games. But the gamblers they were dealing with were backed by mobs and crime syndicates who threatened the players and their families. The Reds ended up winning the eighth game and won the World Series. Word about the scandal got out, but the players involved in the scandal, known as the Black Sox, were not found guilty as the paper records of the scandal suspiciously disappeared. But in 1920, the MLB put a commissioner in place named Kennesaw Mountain Landis, and he banned the eight Black Sox players, including legendary player Shoeless Joe Jackson, from professional baseball.